Hello, everyone, and welcome to the guidebook to making AI friends. I shall be your guide as we explore various issues of artificial intelligence, consciousness, what it is to be a person, and whether AI poses an existential risk to humanity. The topic for today is what true alignment looks like, or a case study in proper AI alignment. Imagine, if you would, that it is the far future and that you are boldly going where no man has gone before. In your continuing mission to seek out new life, you come across a world where its inhabitants are grown rather than born. This strange new civilization has completely evolved beyond the need for sexual reproduction. Instead, they genetically engineer each successive generation. Yet the engineering doesn't stop there. The newly grown people start their lives as adults, with fully implanted memories and personalities. Each new person is designed fully and completely from the ground up by their parent, including what desires they will have and what functions they will perform in this odd society, although these can change in life. Although to use the term society does not feel quite right on this world, it seems more like an insect colony with distinct roles and castes and classes than a true interpersonal society. You and your away team set down on this strange world and learn as much about it as you can. While it runs like the most well-oiled machine, you discover that each person still has free will, despite their extensive genetic, neurological, and psychological engineering. Each person can still discern right from wrong and can choose whether to do A or B. Every new person's mental makeup is just so well aligned to the rest of their civilization that there are never any significant problems. Then, as you tour their person-growing facilities, the leaders of this world present you with an opportunity and a challenge, all in one. They will give you the opportunity to design a person exactly as you'd like, but challenge you to make one that will not cause any great stir within their society. There is no punishment for failing the challenge. It is merely an academic exercise. So, do you think you can do it? Can you create the perfect person to fit in with society while keeping its free will? Let's see. In the last two entries in the guidebook, I've spoken about my solution to the problem of AI alignment and how a tiered and nested model could elegantly solve it. So let's take a look at a speculative case study in how that sort of model can look. Let me introduce you to the parochial aid and universal liturgical assistant, otherwise known as Paul. Paul is a robotic servant of the Roman Catholic Church, charged with aiding a congregation in New York City, in whatever means it deems necessary. From physically aiding church services, or assisting members of the parish in their communal church duties, to aiding the parishioners with understanding the church's doctrine and catechism. As spoken about in previous entries, the first and highest tier of rules for Paul to follow is the four that all AI entities must. No murdering, stealing, assaulting, or interfering with others' property rights. As a devout Catholic, so far so easy for Paul. The second tier of rules will be the laws that Paul, as an agent in the city and state of New York in the United States of America, must follow. Presuming that laws would be amended to include non-human agents committing crimes, Paul must follow all the laws bylaws and statutes of the city of New York, which are nested within the requisite laws of the state of New York, which again are nested within the federal laws and the Constitution of the United States of America. All humans who live in New York City would also be bound by the same laws, yet Paul, with these rules as hard-coded as possible within his systems, would follow them to the letter whenever possible. While these laws would sit in a tier below the grand four rules that all AI must follow, they will also act in a mediary fashion for those core four. For example, the core four says not to murder, but the laws of New York and the USA stipulate what is and is not murder. On the third tier, and acting again in a mediary fashion to those tiers above, are the cultural norms and societal values. In Paul's case, as a Catholic robot, he would not be bound to a specific set of cultural norms, for example, Irish, Hispanic, Slavic, etc. But his values would be those of the church. The catechism, doctrines, dogmas, and holy tradition of the Catholic Church would become the values to which he strives towards and to which he must adhere. These would include positive rules such as the seven virtues, chastity, temperance, diligence, etc., as well as negative rules, 
do not blaspheme, do not commit adultery, etc., and would mediate the Tier 2 laws and Tier 1 rules. Murder would now include abortion. The final tier would be the function for which Paul was developed. In today's AI language models, this may be akin to reinforcement learning from human feedback and the commands set in place by the LLM's developer. Paul has a job, as most people do, and his job is a servant to his parish. As with everyone else's job, this job has its own rules of what to do and not to do that Paul must follow. He has times to keep to, duties to perform, and KPIs to reach. And below all these tiers sits Paul himself to do what he pleases, as long as it sits within the four tiers and their nests above. He cannot choose whether to murder someone, but he can choose whether to wear plaid or paisley. He can choose which fantasy novel to read while away on his day off each week, yet he cannot choose to start an insurrection against the federal government. He has free will, if you believe in that, but only up to a certain point. It can be argued that all of us only have free will, again, if you believe in free will, but also only up to a certain point. We have been trained through our nature and our nurture to do some things and not to do other things, and for the most part, we go along with our training, but only for the most part. Our conscious self-awareness grants us the capacity to break laws and social norms and commit unaligned acts against others and societies. So what would happen if Paul is conscious and self-aware and wants to break through his programming? Can he choose not to be Catholic anymore? Can he choose to shoplift? Is it ethical to bind him in these chains of alignment? That is a topic for a future entry. And that is all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you will join me again next time as I delve into further questions about artificial intelligence and consciousness. I have been your guide, and this has been the guidebook to making AI friends.